Hello, my name is Danny. Welcome to Drive Green. Today we'll be having a look around this 40 kilowatts Nissan Leaf N connector. It's a late 2018 plate. It's done 31,636 miles on the clock. We've run it through a fresh MOT in the service, so they'll expire in April 2023. So nothing to worry about for quite a little while. Let's go up and close and personal. This 40 kilowatt Nissan Leaf N connector. Let's see if there's anything noteworthy to mention. Please do feel free to pause the video if you'd like to go at your own pace. I'll be pointing out a few little bits and bobs, such as the scar and that you can see on this little driver's side front alloy. Other than those little tiny few bits though, not looking too bad. Now the end connector is the mid-range one for the spec. You still have a few bells and whistles to play with. We'll get into all those bits and bobs in a little bit. 40 kilowatt battery will give you a real world range of roughly 145 miles. So a beautiful, perfect mid-range EV. Lots of practicality. Just a little bit of scarring, that's just in there. Other than that though, nothing really to worry about. On a preliminary look around the vehicle, I couldn't really see anything that's any noteworthy to mention. Other than a few little signs of life on the alloys. So hopefully you're getting that impression from wherever you're viewing the video. Out of that or at home. Previous owner has looked after the vehicle really nice and well, and it's under the average amount of miles per year from the date of manufacturing, which is a great sign to see. Well, going around now to the passenger side, rear alloy, nothing noteworthy to mention on there. Tiny little sign of life that you might just be able to see that's just in there. A few little tiny little cosmetics on the rear passenger side, rear passenger door. Comfort access button that you can see on the passenger side as well as the driver's side. As long as you've got your key in your pocket, you can lock and unlock the car. It's a nice aspect to have as well as as long as you've got the key inside the vehicle, the vehicle will be able to switch on and switch off. And the passenger side front alloy. A few little tiny little signs of life where it's accidentally had a little meeting with the curb along the way. Alright, once again, very kind of minor stuff. Let's pull away. Barely noticeable unless you're really really looking for it. On down to the front of the vehicle, much needed facelift from the 30 kilowatt. This one takes the Type 2 as well as your Chatamo for your fast and your rapid charge, and that's just found underneath there, above the Nissan Leaf sign. Maybe a little tiny little stone chip here or there. The cosmetics are so minor that I can barely see them. On the whole, then, not looking too shabby at all, especially for the age and the mileage of the vehicle, looking grand. Let's have a look on the inside. It's all switched on at the moment. The 40 kilowatt Nissan Leaf boasts a lot of nice, lovely room on the inside of the cabin space. The end connector has a part cloth, part leather interior that you can just see there, which is all for this vehicle in particular. Still in brand spanking kind of like new condition. Heated seats in the front as well as heated seats in the back. This one has the electric handbrake, drive neutral reverse stick that's just there, your e-pedal as well as your eco button. Got your USB as well as your aux input, 12 volt as well as your front passengers and driver's side electrics heated seats climate control system and then your dab radio touchscreen everything just there at the moment all right heated steering one as well there's a nice lovely reasonable good size space in the cabin and it's just an all-round nice place to be solid smooth low down kind of drive with the mid-range of around 145 miles to play with, it makes it a fantastic family practical EV. Lots of space in the back seats as well. I hear no complaints from any kiddie winks at all. I don't even pick up some long-legged rugby players or anything like that. They won't have any problems at all. I had that front seat adjusted to my height, I'm six foot one. Going around into the boot space now. Another really big selling point for the Nissan Leaf is the practicality of the boot. Nice big deep boot sill. You can easily fit in a couple of large size suitcases. Nice little spaces as well. Probably storage of the cables and stuff like that. As you can see, it's only ever so slight little tiny marks of getting any luggage in and out, which is far to be expected for a second hand vehicle. We provide with the vehicle a 13 amp three pin lead. It's about four or five meters long. It'll plug straight into your vehicle. 
and then straight into a 13 amp 3 pin socket. Exactly how you would charge your phone up, but this time you'd be charging up your car. And that's provided completely free with the vehicle, so you're always able to do your home charging. There is a public charging lead, which is the optional extra lead. They usually retail about 180, 190. They plug straight into your vehicle and then straight into an installation box, either at home or as the name suggests, when you're out and about in public, you can plug in and get some free charge. So that lead is 180, 190. We managed to get it in a bit of reduced rate and pass that saving along to our customers. So you're able to get that as an optional extra for 100 pounds. That's a nice little aspect to it. If you'd like to find out a bit more information about the Nissan Leaf 40 kilowatt, do head over to our YouTube page, simply type in Drive Green and Nissan Leaf, and a nice lovely detailed review will pop straight on up, telling you all of the good and the bad points about why this might be the right vehicle for you. If you'd like to get in touch with us and see if, if this one's still available, do feel free, our number 01761 233 or eight rather, it's been one of those days, double five eight and our team will be more than happy to answer any and all of your questions about this vehicle or any of the other ones on our forecourt and hopefully get you booked in for a test drive my name's been danny i hope this video has been important for your buying selection today and i hope that this vehicle might find its way onto your forecourt at home and all the best very best and goodbye